And you get that from the foundries. It's just common garden foundry material from 1930. Just in a powder form like that. You see how it's just bounces off into the atmosphere. It's so fine. This one, beautiful, lightweight, bulky material. See how that dissipates into the atmosphere, lighter than air. And this is phyllite, and it's ground up slag heap. These are short strands of glass fibre. This is also a little trick. But something that's not very malleable, as this iron and steel dust and aluminium dust and glass fibre, just by manipulating with a bit of neat acetone on a brush, you can manoeuvre it to much nearer your finished desired product.
Then I can retract the, the forming tool. material naturally wants to web because it's trying to go under there. <coughs> See how that plastic is actually hard and cured now. It's much colder. We've actually got to force compressed air into there. Get off that and there we are. And you can see from this uh, finished moulding, we've managed to get an undercut on the front, an undercut right down to the back, and this is all from the flat sheet material. But it's asking a lot for that material to stretch so far. for a middle wall. Just about the attitude I want.
it look like a hero? So he did some sort of blue 